Hi, my name is Mimi and welcome to Curlsmas. When I think of Christmas and the holidays, you know, I think of playful, I think of a little fancy, I think of shiny and texture and things look different. I mean, it's the season where we put a tree inside our home. <laughs> It's fun to switch things up, so I just wanted to do a few videos about like different hairstyles that I wear over the holidays. More than likely on Christmas, I will be wearing a wash and go. So I'm kicking Curlsmas off with what I've been doing with my winter wash and goes. So this is day two here. Uh, this is a day two wash ago that I filmed yesterday. Um, this is actually the first time I used this combo like I'm about to show you. Let's start with cleansing. So I just washed my hair with Oyen. I think it's the Honey Hemp Shampoo. Then for a conditioner, I went ahead and with, again from Oyen, Oyen Honey Hemp. And I had some Camille Rose conditioner and I mixed those together and that's what I used to condition and detangle my hair. So once I was done with that, I applied curly magic in the shower and then um, I sectioned my hair into I think it was six sections and I started to style. My goal with wash and goes is always to get them to set faster. <laughs> I do not like sitting under the dryer but I also do not like wet hair and I need a lot of water in my hair to get the wash and go to look the way I enjoy it. So in the summertime to combat humidity and to get my hair to actually dry, because it's almost impossible to get my hair to dry, in the summertime due to the high humidity in my area, I started mixing Curly Magic with custard. Um, and I really like that as a base. I would put toppers on top of that. Um, I have a video, Nine Hacks, about how I survived the summer that goes into like all the details of what I did in the summer to kind of get my hair to dry faster. So now that it's winter time, I don't have issues with my hair drying, but I kind of miss the custards. I feel like the custards would help um, help like group my curls together and they add a little bit of weight. It's weird, they add weight, but they don't weigh my hair down. So I really miss custards. So for this wash ago, I actually use a custard as a topper in addition to bamboo ginseng glaze. And the custard that I use was the Miel pomegranate and honey custard. During the winter, one thing that I switched up is I started applying the toppers um, to each section. So I, se I separate my hair into six sections. In each section, I apply the toppers as I'm getting ready to rake and smooth it. Um, I like it better that way because one thing about quick drying products is that they dry quick. <laughs> so I want to work through the section. I want to put them on the toppers on right before I start working through the sections so that they don't start to set before I get a chance to smooth um, you know, by the time I get to the last section of my hair, it's already started to firm up. And then when you add water to it, like you can add water to it to be able to rework it again, but it's, it's not the same. So I feel like I used to do that when I first started washing goes, uh, like a year and a half ago. And then I stopped and, you know, did all the toppers and then worked through it. But I think I prefer adding the toppers section by section. Yes, I feel like I use more product when I do it that way, but I like the result better. Yes, yeah, so that's what I've been doing. <laughs> so what I did was, after I got out of the shower, I applied Curly Magic in the shower. Um, I just threw on a shower cap to get dressed. I think it was the middle of the day when I did it. So I, I got dressed, did lunch with Curly Magic in my hair. <sighs> then I came back, added a little bit more water to the Curly Magic to make sure it was nice and wet. And then I started to apply the toppers. So I went in first with the Miele Styling Custard. And I worked that through each section. Well, I worked that through the first section. So I put Miel in um, the first section, the custard, and then I went on top of that with bamboo ginseng glaze. If you made it this far in the video and you're enjoying it, please make sure you give it a thumbs up. I just really worked just to smooth the section out. I can't see the back of my head, but I went ahead and showed it to y'all. <laughs> so I just started, you know, working it out. And I think like when I was looking back at the footage, like you can see like how the custard kind of adds control and clumping um, on top of Curly Magic. And I really like that. So that's what I did. So first the Miele, then the Bamboo Jensen Glaze. And I did that for each of the six sections. Um, mostly smoothing. I don't do that much separating. My ends are clingy and um, so I just kind of like separate it and smooth it like where it naturally separates. My stylist does a good job of you know using a brush and raking her fingers through and creating like nice uniform curls. 
but my ends are so tangly so I just <laughs> I let them be the boss so I just kind of pull the ends apart and and separate it where it wants to be so that is how that styling process went down um, another thing that I kind of well my Dyson was my gift to me myself after I got to <laughs> a thousand subscribers so I got a Dyson at the end of the summer so it was something fairly new to me so I started using the diffuser before I went under the dryer. I found that my hair gets a little bit more movement, a little bit more volume when I diffuse before I go under the hooded dryer. So that's what I did. Um, so I, I didn't diffuse for long, maybe 10 minutes. So I diffused my hair, go sit under the dryer. That day, I, I think I only got like 10 minutes under the dryer at first. And then I had to go do like work stuff or something. And then so it air dried. So it's this like combination of air drying and just like sitting under the dryer when I got a chance. And these were the results when it was like 90% dry on day one. And this is day two. I went in with a pick. I went in with a pick and fluffed it out a little bit. But I like the movement. I like the bigness. I'm, <laughs> I'm having Christmas at my house this year. So more than likely, I'm going to be in a wash and go because I'm going to be busy trying to be hostess with the mostess. Yeah, so thanks for watching. Um, and if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe because I'm for sure have a rod set and a flexi rod set. So the perm rod set and then the flexi rod set that I'm going to film and post as part of this Curlsmith series. Um, so next up will be perm rods. <laughs> so stay tuned for the perm rod set and um, take care and be well for this holiday season. What? What is it? I'm recording, that's why I got the lights on. Say hi. Why? I'm not waiting on the camera. What? Hello. Hello. <laughs> hi. Hello. Hello. <laughs>